Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Baldur's Gate 2, The Shadows of Am, the Enhanced Edition. And we are looking for an inn. This will probably be another episode of wandering around, getting things done. Not so wow, much... An adventurer. I did not be... think I'd be talking to you louts again, but I do what my Uncle Galen says whenever I can. Anyways, Galen Bale wants you to come see him before you go making any rash decisions. Says he wants to sweeten the deal. How would he know I have a decision to make? Am I being followed? Don't look at me. I just do what I'm told. He said to tell you the offer is sweeter, so here I am. Anyway, just go see Galen before you go see... <clears throat> your new contact. I only get paid if I get you to see him. And it won't take long, you know. Okay. Um, uh, excuse me, sir. Y you you look like a warrior. Are are you a warrior? Could you help me? Minsk and Boo are the greatest of warriors, small one. I will crush your foes into little foe-shaped chunky bits. Who dares pick on you? Just point the way. I, I, I don't have any foes, sir. No foes? I am relieved. I trust those who prey on children no farther than they can be thrown, even if I manage to throw them pretty far. And throw them I shall. Wow, that got a little... I got a little excited there at the end. Huh. Er, who wonders what you need a warrior for when you have no foes? I'm, I'm lost, sir. I was sent to f find somebody who could help my village, but I've had all my things stolen and n nobody can help me. What? Boo is outraged. See his fury. It's small, so look close. Trust me, it's there. What is wrong with your village, small one? How can we heroes help? Uh, I'm from Imnisvale in the Umar Hills. People ha have been disappearing. Some of them have t turned up, but they're all turned inside out and mad. Whoosh, I'd be pretty mad too if I was turned inside out. Minsk has been inside out and angry before, and it is never a good thing. Sometimes it frightens even Boo. No, no, not mad as in angry, sir. Mad as in crazy. Oh, Minsk has never been crazy. No, sir. Being inside out was bad enough. Is there more, little boy? And, and even worse, everyone says they they seen strange beasts out in the hills. Everyone's so frightened. There's even t t talk that Umar herself has returned. Then heroes are certainly needed. Heroes like Minsk and Boo and Marcus Aurelius. Where is your village, small one? Together we shall save the day. I, I can show you where it is on your map. I'm sure Minister Lloyd would be ever so grateful if you could aid the village. Everyone is terribly frightened. Nothing removes fear better than a good sword and a swift kick in the evil. We shall go to your village and do what heroes do, right, Marcus Aurelius? Right you are, Minsk. You would? Oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. When you get to Imnisvale, talk to Minister Lloyd. He can tell you everything else. Thank you, sir. We shall go and save the village for the boy. I will crush the evil. All of the evil. Even the small, rodent-sized evil. Although that is more Boo's job. I hope you intend to go to this village soon, Marcus. A visit to greener lands would be welcome after our trek through this crowded city. We just arrived, Jahira. Criminy. Alright, before any other random children walk up to us, let's go talk to Galen before we go to the inn. I dislike you, half-elf. Your shrill voice, your grating humor, and your childish thinking offend me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Wait, what? What is that smell? I smell nothing. By the gods, what is that? Oh wait, Piconia, it's just you. For a moment I thought Marcus had picked up a powerful cheese while I wasn't looking. <laughs> you are ridiculous. Were it not for Marcus, you would be dead. I do not smell like cheese. 
It's not bad, just a little pungent. Maybe you picked up the scent when you still worship Loth. They say she lives in the demon web pits. A place with that kind of name probably doesn't smell very pleasant. Be glad I do not still follow Loth. If I did, you would be dying a painful death right now. Alright, Viconia, let me be direct for a second. You like directness, right? You started this conversation, and you started it by insulting me. I dislike you. That's what you said. Do you really think people will listen to anything you have to say when you talk to them like that? You called me childish. It is less childish to threaten me. Yeah, really reasonable and adult. This conversation is over. Good, because you smell, and the smell is only getting stronger. <laughs> I think that was one of those packs that adds things to the to the game. Okay, where's Galen's house? There it is. Galen Bale's home. Let's see how sweet he's willing to make this deal. Are you? Oh, there you are. Coo! Ye be already above 15,000 and need go no further. My masters change their hearts and they will accept 15,000 alone. And I understand that the accent has changed. Unless I get him started with something, I can't. Anyway. <laughs> it's, it is a competitive rate, I think. Bruce mentioned a new deal. Is that the change he spoke of? Aye. 15,000 gold. They wish to speed proceedings along, for your benefit and theirs. They want to keep the relationship with you as friendly as possible. So there is the final tally. Are you happy with the price? We are certainly the least offensive ally you could choose in this matter. I tend to agree. This whole meeting in the graveyard in the middle of the night thing kind of puts the hairs on the back of my neck on end. But, as I mentioned, in order for us to truly be able to rescue M1, we need to strengthen ourselves. And so that means we can't really get started just yet. Well, as ye wishes, I can be standing here a bit longer, I can. Thanks for being so accommodating. Alright, to the coronet! I don't actually intend to work with the other team, but... We could use some time to get our situation... Well, situated. Jolu? Hi. Well, you look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. Greetings, I am Jolov. I have recently arrived from the ten towns of Icewind Dale. It was a long trek, but I wanted to get the most value I could from the items I had collected up north. Athkatla is known as the richest city in all of Faerun. Kind of looks like crap, so that's not saying much. So I knew where there would be adventurers about with the amount of coin I was looking for. Would you like to take a look at my wares? Sure. Staff of Arundel. It's a plus three staff. For Druid. Interesting. Or a fighter Druid. Gosh, we have one of those. Although she uses swords. A Wakazishi plus three. A Ninja two plus three. Now what's cool about this is, I believe, a monk can wield it. Yes! A human monk is the only person who can wield that. And I know of such a person. Well, I do. Marcus doesn't. Yet. Wow, a really cool sling that we can't afford. But that is a great sling. I want to eventually get that. Plus five sling and no bullets. It gets plus five bullets on its own. That is amazing. I will have to come back and buy that. Now what's really tough about all this is Marcus, of course, is a lawful good paladin. So he doesn't steal. And many of these items can be stolen. Sometimes it's difficult, but it's possible. So in many guides for this game, the first part of them is to go and steal as much as you can and either sell it back for gold or wield it. But we won't be doing that, so things are going to be that much more difficult for us. Spear's kind of useless. So really, the only thing he has that's interesting to me is the Ninja 2. 
The plus three axe, I guess, is okay. But we don't need the charisma. We already have that. Wisdom, I guess, would be okay. Other than that, the, the axe that we have is still very good. But he can identify things. That's useful. And at a pretty decent price, too. I thought it was 100. So let's just get all this done. Wand of Frost. Wand of Lightning. Wand of Cloud Kill. Wand of something. Monster Summoning. Dart of Wounding. Shield Amulet. Armor Class 4, plus 2 bonus versus Missile. Very good. Bolts plus two. Something else. Bolts of biting. Bullets plus one. Bullets plus two. And let me guess, darts plus one. Yeah. Dagger plus two, very nice. Longbow plus one. Yeah, I've seen better. Quarterstaff plus one. Huh. Didn't I find magical armor? Like magical leather armor? In the keep right before I fought Torgal? Maybe he just can't identify that. Let's see. Yeah. This. I guess he just... Maybe certain merchants only can identify certain things? Yeah. Oh, no. I just didn't go down enough. Okay, we have a light crossbow plus one. We have a Elven Cork Bow. Very, very nice. And finally, we have Orc Leather plus three. And... This ghastly armor was taken from an Orc camp destroyed by barbarians. Instead of standard metal rivets like normal studded leather, this Orc leather is instead laced with hundreds of fire-hardened bones. Finger bones, ribs, and skulls cover the armor, acting much like the traditional metal rivets. Powerful Orcish enchantments give the armor special resistance to missile attacks, but the repulsiveness reduces the wearer's charisma. Yeah, we're going to sell that. In fact, Jolov, do you have any money? Can I sell things? Bolt of Lightning. Does anybody even use a crossbow on this team? I don't think so. Marcus can't, and everybody else. She uses a short bow. Darts. Sling, sling. Yeah. Sell. 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 Oh, why was I holding on these long swords? They're only worth three gold. And the orc leather. I'm just not. No one in this party is going to wear anything made out of bones and skulls. A kneecapper could be useful, but I just don't have any use for it. Two handed sword, sell. Light crossbow plus one. Again, the same quandary. Who would, who would use a crossbow? Rasad won't. He's a monk. Imowen won't. She'd use a regular bow. Marcus can't use ranged weapons besides throwing axes. I guess Piconia could maybe use something besides a sling. I'm not really sure. Let's get rid of the menial stuff first. Quarterstaff plus one. What is Nera? No, she has her own staff. Studded leather cell. I think these wands only have one use, so I might as well sell them and get some of my money back from identifying them. This might be useful, though. Spear plus one, no one here is going to use. 
there. Well, no, darts are good. She uses darts. Sell the gem. Shield amulet, absolutely. The bolts we can sell. The bullets we'll keep. So the darts and the bullets we'll keep. Okay. All right. She's fine. All right. Dagger plus two. I'll hold on to that for right now. There might be some use for it. In we go. I wonder if anybody will come up and talk to us here. That happens sometimes. Who are you? Animan. You look interesting, but not today. Bouncer. Animan is a party member you could take, and I may just pick him up for a little bit to do some of his associated quests, but I'm not sure yet. Who are you? Tiana. I don't really feel like chatting right now. I feel like getting things done. Oh, and you are the weird girl. Right, hex that. Hello. The copper cornet aims to please. Oh, yeah, this is the really kind of creepy dude. But I have to go to Bernard. That's this guy, right? Yep. All right. Well, they don't offer a royal accommodation, so I guess merchant will have to do. Rat and all. I would speak with you. I need help. I need help getting. Didn't I already talk to you? Yeah, I think I've already had this conversation. Fine. I need to get to Dragomir's tomb in the the district with the graves. You wish to go to a tomb? Why? Treasure. There's a great treasure there in Dragomir's tomb. Graveyard. Enter from the graveyard. Hmm. Well, we don't really care about treasure, but we do need money to get our friend Emma out and to buy some items. So, how much treasure are we talking here? Great, great treasure. An intriguing proposition. You know where this treasure can be found? The tomb. Dragomir's tomb. With the graves. The district of graves. Hmm. Marcus likes helping people, but at the same time, this woman seems a little strange, and raiding a tomb in a graveyard doesn't sound like a very lawful or good activity. So Marcus is going to bow out of this one. It's just not really his thing. So now we have to go see Ribald Bardeman, because he has a girdle that I recall seeing, and I'm very interested in purchasing somebody's trying to get our attention we'll maybe go talk with him a bit later but until then to Joaquin's promenade we go is it promenade or promenade maybe it's just like tomato and tomato all right so we're gonna go to the adventurer mart come team let us seek adventure. So yes, once we get situated, once we feel pretty strong, we'll go after Imowen. And then all the rest of the quests, both in Athkatla and outside of, we can take care of with her in the party. But we need 15,000, which we are under now. And after buying this girdle, we're going to have even less. So we are going to have to do a couple quests to make money. But raiding a graveyard just doesn't seem like a very good thing to do. Let's see. Let's go talk to him. Hello, sir. Yes, there's some items we're interested in. I hear you have a girdle. Here to see a man about a girdle. Why do you have a lot of random stuff? Oh, 
Armor of Deep Knight, huh? Plate Mail plus one. We have some of that already. Fortress Shield. That looks cool. Phil Pius. Really? His name was Phil Pius. A paladin of the most noble order of the Radiant Heart. That's a really good shield. I think Ring of the Prince is really good too. I think I have one, actually. The Bracers of Defense are a good idea. But where is this thing? Ah, Girdle of Hill Giant Strength. What this will do is it will give anyone who wears it 19 strength. Such as, oh, I don't know, everyone's favorite Drow Cleric. And that kind of set us back a bit. You better thank me for this. Alright, now she's got a ton of strength, so she no longer has to worry about the armor. Although, we should get her something better than Splint Mail. I think her only restriction is her strength, so she can wear pretty much anything. So now, Minsk, you can give her Flail of the Ages. Alright, she's ready to go. And you can put your sword back. Your Sword of Chaos. And you can go ahead and take the special longbow as well. Since you're the only longbow wielding guy we have. Okay, you're a slinger. That makes sense. Yes, and a scimitar. You can only throw axes, but show them enough strength to hold them. You know you have really good strength. Because of all the armor you're wearing. Helm of Baldoran. I might have to give that to someone else later. I think I can do better with Marcus. This is just a cool helm, I'll let you see in the dark. Yeah, here's the Ring of the Princess, so we do have one of those. Jahira would do well with that magical shield if we could afford it. Let's just put these up here. I'm just doing it randomly, just to fill them up so that we don't utilize our people for that. Okay, who does the darts? It's Nera, right? I think it's Nera. Yeah. She has a quarter staff plus one, so replacing that with another quarter staff plus one is kind of not a good idea. We can identify some items now. I should have thought about that and only paid to identify most of them. The mace we could sell. We got bow, bow sling, throwing axes, maybe. Sling. Short bow and darts. I don't think there's any reason why Viconia couldn't use a crossbow. Let's see. Nope, she can't. Not usable by cleric. Let me guess. Neither is a longbow, of course. And probably not a short bow. I'd wager. Yep. Wow, this is just a regular shortbow? We need to get, well, Imowen, eventually a magical shortbow. Goodness. All right, let's give those to Viconia. Because it looks like, oh, she's plenty. Let's give them to Jahira. There we go. Okay. All right, so we can sell the quarterstaff. We'll give everything we need to sell to Marcus. We could sell the uh, longbow plus one. That's an ammo belt, right? Yep. So we must have tons of stuff in there that we could probably sell. We should we should get rid of all this stuff. But I'll do that off camera. This can be given to Marcus to sell. So can the quarter staff. I don't know I don't know about the kneecapper. It's a good weapon, but it's only plus one. Yes, it's good against giants. But that's really situational. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I'm sure Nalia will love that I'm selling her family's heirlooms. And he can't use this, but he can use the healing. And he's our heaviest guy, so he shouldn't be carrying around potions. He should be carrying around heavy things. Jahira's full. Fikonia's full. Nalia. Okay, shield amulet. Can be activated by a simple command word in a touch. 
with each use acting as one charge. The effect is a duplication of the first level spell, Shield. Armor class 4, plus 2 bonus versus missile. So you have to actually use it. Immunity to magic missile. That's useful. What do you have? The meta spell influence amulet. Okay, that's good. Might want to take that away from her before she leaves and give it to Emowyn. I guess it's useful for you. To be protected versus missiles. Conventional and otherwise. Oh, I could sell my gems, too, off-camera. All right, so we have... She's set up. Nothing to go to Marcus. I want to keep this. The darts I'll keep. The arrows. Go to Minsk, I guess. Although, we could use some magical arrows. All right. She's set up fine. The mace can go to Marcus to sell. The crossbow to Marcus to sell. The dagger I want to hold on to. Could have a use. This is a magical item. We'll give that to Viconia since she's in for the long haul. And okay, that's that. Well, between episodes, I will sell some mundane things, raise up some more money, and then next episode, I think we have a meeting in a graveyard. I have to see a person I don't know about a thing I don't know what they want. That's quite interesting. So once again, I am Marcus Aurelius. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.